Welcome to today's video on designing a custom box. To start designing your custom box, let's go to Tinkercad.com. Now we'll log in using our school Gmail account and you can join your teacher's classroom using her class code. Once you've logged in, your screen should look like this. Click the Create button and select 3D Design to begin designing your project. First things first, check the settings to make sure the units is set to inches and the length and width are set to 8 inches each. Make these settings the default and then close your settings. Now we're ready to start designing. First we'll start by dragging a cube onto our work plane. Adjust the length and width to 4 inches each, like so. Now we'll adjust the height to 3.75 inches. This component serves as the base for our box. To hollow it out, drag a hollow cube from the basic shapes onto your work plane, and now we'll adjust the sizes to a length of 3.5 inches and a width of 3.5 inches as well. Now adjust the height to 3.5 inches and now we have a slightly smaller hollow cube which we can put inside the solid cube to hollow out our base of the box. To combine the two components, drag your cursor over both the hollow and the solid cube and then use the align button here in the top right hand corner to align the shapes vertically and horizontally. Then you can click on the figure and the inner cube should get highlighted. Use this cone feature to raise the inner cube so that it does not hollow through the entire cube and so that the base of your box still remains without getting cut out. Now you can select the two components by dragging over your cursor and then use the group button to combine the two components and to create a hollowed out box. To personalize this component, you can change the color. And so in my case, I think I'll go with this light green color. Now to start designing the lid of our box, grab a cube from the basic shapes and place it on your work plane. Then adjust the length and width to four inches by four inches. Next, I'll adjust the height to 0.1 inches. Now to create the inner layer of our cap so that it fits snugly onto the top of our box, we'll grab another cube from the basic shapes, and this time we'll set the length and width to 3.5 inches, which matches the hollowed out area of our base of the box. So again, I'll set the length and width to 3.5 inches. Again, I'll adjust the height to 0.1 inches. And now I'll use the align tool to vertically and horizontally align the two components of the lid. Next, I'll click the inner component of the lid and raise it by a height of 0.1 inches. This way, there's a small height difference between the two components of the lid, allowing it to fit snugly into the top of the box. Now I will group the two components of the lid and now I can even change the color of the lid to customize it. To add more customization to the top of the lid, I'll use this rotation tool to rotate the lid by 180 degrees so that the top of the lid is facing up. Now you can use any shape or symbol of your choice to customize the top of the lid. In my example, I'll use some text and maybe I can write my name on the top of the box. You can play around with the height of the text to set it to a shape that you like. If you like, you can also customize the box by writing paperclip, for example, if you know that you'll be storing paperclips in this box. Then you can adjust the text so that it fits nicely on the top of your box.
like so. Last but not least, you can also play around with different shapes to customize the top of your box. For example, we can have this heart on the top of our box and we can adjust its size to our liking. And there you have it. Now you have a completed custom box. Feel free to play around and be creative. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.